Honor Code. This multiple grade one winner from AP Indy's final crop was never off the board in 11 starts. A world-class stallion at a world-class stallion farm. Let's do this, the 150th Belmont Stakes. Tenfold is the next horse. He is number seven. Number one, Justify has drawn the rail. Owned by China Horse Club, Wingstar Farm, Starlight Racing, and Head of Plains Partners, trained by Bob Baffert, ridden by Mike Smith. Justify will try to win the Triple Crown from post one. And Bravazo is number three. Owned by Calumet Farm, trained by D. Wayne Lucas, Luis Saez will ride the runner-up in the Preakness Bravazo. Double Indy's going to need to show a little bit of speed and get into the flow of the race, but uh, post position-wise, I think it's fine. I don't know if Bob may be a little nervous about drawing the one. If he doesn't break great, but uh, you know, so far the horse has been perfect, so it's hard to find any weaknesses. You can have a great hole, but if you don't leave there, you know, and you're still going to be in trouble. So we're, you know, we have it. We can't change it, uh, so uh, we're just, just dealing with it. What do you think your opponents? And how's your horse doing? We're four of us shipped up here for classics, for a classic race, a million dollars. How do you think our horse is doing, first of all? And going a mile and a half, if you're worried about the post, you don't belong. I told you last year, you're better than this. Come with better class. <laughs> I got this. you got guys that have been there, done that, and uh, the whole experience is such a challenge. But what fuels all of us, I think, is that competitive spirit. I mean, we, we all get along, we're good friends. Todd's like family, and uh, yet when the gate opens, uh, it's fair game. Everybody's on their own. And through it through, but now it drives this industry. They have 20% of the nation's gaming, everybody watches New York. So once Pharaoh did it, it was sort of a, a sense of relief that it, could, it can happen. You know, if you have the right horse, right circumstances, um, everything got to go well. And then you come to the big city for the Belmont, especially when a triple crown is on the line. And you know you're playing the game that we all grew up wanting to play at the very highest level. And I get to walk into the paddock with the guys I idolized growing up or the guys that I have the utmost respect for that are the age of them. And I don't care if I'm the ninth man on the field for the Yankees, I feel like a Yankee for a few minutes. And if Bob happens to win the triple crown again, there is always the Travers. <laughs> that was coming. Every time I saw Woody Stevens, he said, Lucas will never win five. So if I can just last a couple more years, I think I can get it done. And the great thing about the Belmont and the Triple Crown at stake is I think it brings our sport to the very highest level and becomes the most exciting sports event, arguably, that there is. You know, it puts us right on par with, with the Super Bowl and World Series. And, you know, I mean, it's, the Belmont on its own is a is a tremendous event, a tremendous race, but when there's a triple crown at stake, there's, to me, there's nothing like it.